As I've spoken about on previous podcasts, I recently added a small amount of creatine to my daily regimen because I wasn't always getting two pounds of meat in my diet every day. And I feel like this improves my mental performance and my surfing performance. I've also recently started experimenting with methylated B vitamins. I've spoken about in the past, and I'll speak about in this podcast, the fact that I have a MTHFR polymorphism and a couple other polymorphisms within the realm of methylation, including COMT. And then I generally feel better when I have a methylated B vitamin supplement, even if I'm eating half an ounce of liver per day. For many people, a methylated B vitamin supplement may not be necessary, especially if you don't have polymorphisms at your MTHFR gene or other genes that are significant within the methylation cycle, also known as the folate cycle. But I think that that's important to understand in your physiology. And so I do think it's worth getting some sort of analysis of your genetics, looking at single nucleotide polymorphisms. And I think for most people, just half an ounce of liver per day, either fresh or desiccated, cooked, however you want to get that liver is fine. Plus some heart is going to get you a good amount of riboflavin. So those are things that I try and eat in my diet every day is about half an ounce of raw. I do raw liver. Plus I eat three to four, sometimes five or six ounces of heart per day, plus grass fed meat. I've done another podcast talking about what I eat in a day, but I'll summarize it all at the end for you guys. So let's get into the labs with all of that further framing. The first thing you see on the blood work here is the complete blood count. This is just standard blood count. It's looking at white blood cells. It's looking at red blood cells. It tells you if you're anemic or not, if you have too few red blood cells, if your white blood cells are elevated, that's an indication of an infection. And what is the size of your red blood cells, which is the MCV. Some people who have anemia, their blood cells get small, depending on what's causing the anemia, like an iron deficiency anemia can cause red blood cells to get small. It's called a microcytic anemia. If your red blood cells look big and you're anemic, that may be related to folate or B12. If you're eating an animal-based diet, you're not going to be deficient in vitamin B12. But if you're not getting enough egg yolks or heart plus liver, you might not be getting enough folate, especially if you're only eating animal foods. So it's important to check your folate levels in your blood, and you'll see mine later in this podcast. As you can see here, basically all of the metrics on my complete blood count are within normal. There's nothing crazy to point out here. I don't have any current infections going on, so my white blood cell count is not elevated. Uh, my red blood cell count is within normal. My hematocrit is actually pretty darn high, something that has to do with my iron levels, probably, and just the fact that I'm an athlete in the ocean all the time. I've often wondered recently, with my hematocrit kind of bumping up, if being in the ocean and surfing and very often having to hold my breath under waves is increasing the hematocrit, but I'll talk about the iron levels a little bit later. But my hematocrit is still within normal, though I definitely have a large oxygen carrying capacity, which I benefit from when I'm surfing and working out with a uh, robust hematocrit. So you can see the hematocrit right there. 